Port Margarita situated across the Sarawak River near the Astana, the official residence of the Yingdipertua Nigeri of Sarawak and is accessible by road. It is a 15-minute drive along Petra Jaya, or a short river cruise from Pankalan Batu, in front of Main Bazaar on Kuching Waterfront and located next to the new Sarawak State Legislative Assembly Building. It is part of the Kuching Heritage Trail. Margarita is an old fort constructed in 1879 by Charles Brooke, Raja of Sarawak situated in Kuching, Sarawak, Malaysia. The fort is an important landmark and monument in Sarawak's history which goes back to the Brooke dynasty. The fort, built in the style of an English castle, was designed to protect Kuching from being attacked by pirates. It served as a police museum from 1971 before being handed over to the government of Sarawak and now is a tourist attraction in Kuching. The fort now houses the Brook Gallery, an exhibition showcasing the history of Sarawak under the Brook dynasty. Fort Margarita is named after Brook's beloved wife, Margaret Alice Lily de Wint, whom he married at High Worth, Wiltshire on October 28, 1869. She was raised to the title of Rani of Sarawak with the style of Her Highness upon their marriage. The fort was built on a hill overlooking the Sarawak River and situated on the north bank opposite the then fast-expanding town center of Kuching. The fort was well equipped to protect the capital from riverborne invasions. The three-story tower block's battlement includes a watchpoint on top, a courtyard surrounded by a high wall with sharp glass shards inlaid for protection, and set into the wall itself are wooden windows from where the cannons were fired. Executions of prisoners were carried out in this courtyard, right up to the Japanese occupation during World War II. The Brook Gallery tells the story of one of the most remarkable kingdoms in history, Sarawak and its White Rajas. In the 1830s Sarawak, a province of the once mighty Sultanate of Brunei in northwest Borneo, was ravaged by piratical raiding and rebellion against Brunei rule. Inspired by stories of its natural wonders and diverse indigenous cultures, a bold English adventurer, James Brooke, arrived on its shores in his yacht, Royalist, in August 1839. He was to forge a unique bond with its peoples and together they built the foundations of today's Sarawak. Fort Margarita has been restored by the National Heritage Department and the building handed back to the Sarawak Museum Department ready for the development of the Brooke Gallery. The trust worked closely with the Sarawak Museum to develop the narrative and content, as well as providing artifacts from the Brooke family's collection. The Trust has sponsored this permanent exhibition at the fort which was opened on September 24, 2016 by the Deputy Chief Minister of Sarawak, Dada Kamarabang Yohari Tun Opang. The fabrication and installation works were made possible by the support of many committed local and global volunteers of the Trust.
accordance with the will of the first Raja, Sir James Brooke, the line of succession to the sovereignty of Sarawak and all the rights and privileges whatsoever thereto belonging was to the heirs male lawfully begotten of the Raja's nephew Charles Anthony Johnson Brooke. Charles inherited under the will in 1868, and confirmed the succession in his own will of 1913. On his accession in 1918, his son Viner, later Sir Charles Viner Brooke, Raja of Sarawak, swore to uphold the will as forming the constitution of the state. This unique testamentary trust became known as the Sarawak Sovereignty Trust. The fort was built on a hillock across the Sarawak River, the design and architecture of Fort Margarita is heavily influenced by the English castle styles. The fort has a three-story chief tower which is connected to the side of the fort instead of being constructed at the center like the other traditional castles. The fort is guarded by high walls which are inset with glass shards with rough, jagged edges to prevent any enemy from trespassing. There are small openings and wooden windows throughout the body of the fort where cannons could be set in such a way that it wasn't visible to any outsider and this was one of their key attacking methods. Fort Margarita also has a special execution courtyard built inside it where all the criminals, pirates, and other enemies were executed.